Thank you, Jesus. Uh, I want us to turn in the book of Joshua. Joshua chapter 21. Joshua chapter 21. That is uh, from 43. From 43. The word of God said this. And the Lord gave unto Israel all the land which he swore to give unto their fathers. And they possessed it and dwelt therein. And the Lord gave them blessed, loud about, according to all that he swore unto their fathers. And there stood, and there stood not a man, and there stood not a man of all the enemies before them. The Lord delivered all their enemies into their hands. They have failed not aught of any good thing which the Lord had spoken unto the house of Israel. All came to pass. Let us pray. Uh, our dear Father and our loving God and our merciful compassionate God, we come before you to thank you, to honor you, to glorify your name and to praise you. You who deserve to be glorified. You are above all the kings, you are above all the lords, you are above all the masters and all the gods. You alone to be worshipped and be glorified in the mighty name of Jesus. You have raised up your word above everything that your word might be the word that we shall follow. We pray, Jehovah, that through the word of God, may you educate us, may you instruct us, may we learn in Jesus' name. I pray, precious Holy Spirit, take control over the word of God. Make it simple to understand, make it simple to enter to our hearts, to a greater and to a deep and stony heart that Father, you will enter and penetrate in, work in the name of Jesus. Amen. I pray, Jehovah, for the blessings of the word. I pray for the concentration in the name of Jesus. And I also pray for those that are watching through the TV online, that you may bless them, that you may speak to them too. For this is not a gathering of the flesh, but a gathering of the spirit, O oh God. For you say that wherever the carcass is, there will be the eagles. Lord, and we are the entire eagles, those who see through the prophetic eyes of yours. We do pray and believe. Amen. 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 Uh, we are reading in the book of Joshua. We are reading in the book of Joshua, chapter 21. And uh, the topic of this message, we could say, living in the fear of God, living in the fear of God. And as we are reading this, we can see from the scripture in the book of Joshua 21, from the scripture in the book of Joshua 21, uh, when we start 43, the word of God says, and the Lord gave unto Israel all the land which he swore to give unto their fathers, and they possessed it and dwelt therein. We can see that the Lord speaking his promises being fulfilled. His word being fulfilled. All, he said, and the Lord God gave unto Israel all the land which he swore to give unto their fathers. If it is land, he gave them all the land that he had promised them. And the Lord gave them less about, less allowed about according to all that he swore unto their fathers. And they stood not a man of all their enemies. Before them, the Lord delivered their enemies into their hand. The Lord also gave them their enemies. That there is no enemy who prevailed against them. And the Lord was doing this to fulfill his word, to fulfill his promises that he had spoken uh, to the children of Israel. And remember, God fulfilled those promises to those who only feared him. Their fathers did not fear him. And so, God spoke a promise, 
But the promise was not uh, enjoyed by those who are promised therein. But the promise was enjoyed by their children. Do we understand? Yes. And God made all the promises that Joshua, uh, that God had promised to the Israelites, to their fathers. And Joshua was just a son to their fathers. Joshua was not there when God was promising. And if he was there, he was very little. He did not know anything. But God fulfilled those words through the generation that came forth. Praise Jesus. Amen. And he fulfilled all those words, all of them. And say 45, they are failed not out, they are failed not out of any good thing which God had God the Lord had spoken unto the house of Israel, or come to pass. Praise Jesus Christ. That all things that he spoke, they came to pass because it is God who fulfilled his word. Praise Jesus Christ. I want you to see this, that God did not fulfill the promises to, to, to those people, to their fathers. Hallelujah. To their fathers and to their mothers and their grandfathers. Hallelujah. But God fulfilled it to their children. Why did God fulfill it to their children? Amen. God fulfilled their, to their children because they feared God. In the generation of Joshua, that's where there come a breed of men and women who feared God. That's where I come people who could walk with them, with the walk with God. People who could walk uh, with, the, with the commandments of God. People who could fear God. Because their father could not fear. But Joshua restored the, old, the, 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 the foreign altar. Joshua restored the altar of God that was walking among them. Praise Jesus. So God fulfilled all the promises that God had spoken to their fathers. And so the children, they became that they were eating and drinking the fruit of the faithfulness. But the promises were but from their father. Praise Jesus. Do you understand it now? And all this that God is seeing, is doing is because of faithfulness, is because of obedience, is because of the fear of God. Now, those who live in the fear of God, God will also uh, come to fulfill all the promises that He has ever spoken in your life. Amen. Those who live in the fear of God, everything that God has spoken, all good things will come to pass. Amen. None, none. Or no, no prophecy which did not come to fulfill. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. That's why the word of God says that even if it is old, even if it is high, stay how many years, that promises will come to fulfill. But I pray that the promises of God into our life may be fulfilled when we are still here. Amen. May be fulfilled when we are still alive. Yes. That not that when you die, not that when you depart, that's when your children are enjoying the benefits and the, 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 this greatness of God. Hallelujah. I pray that we will be the people that will be ushering the blessings of the Lord and the promises of God. Amen. That through faithfulness, through obedience, through the fear of the Lord, we may have to enjoy what the word of God has spoken. They that died without seeing the prophecies, without, without seeing the promises, if they do not have the knowledge, they say to God, do not fulfill our promises. We have died, and the way God, you have promised us that we would receive the canon, that we would, you would fight our battle, they die without seeing them. So maybe some of them, they die complaining that God, are you a liar? You deceived me. But God is not a liar. He fulfilled those words. He fulfilled those promises, even to their generation. They saw that surely the hand of God is not short that it cannot save. Amen. God saved them. He fought their battle. And he said, the other thing that he said is that there is no, uh, there is, uh, no enemy who stood, he said. And the Lord gave them the rest about. Rest means peace. According to all that he swear to their father, and they stood not, uh, not a man of all their enemies before them. The Lord delivered all their enemies into their hand. Meaning all. Delivered all. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. When you read this, when you read this from 43, 44, 45, there is something that he's speaking. He speaks every promise, he said, all. All. If it is land, he wants to give them land, all. Not a quarter. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. He would give them all. All that he promised, give them. If he would say, all his enemy, he said, 
He led to all. He delivered all their enemies before them. All, not some. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Is that God great? Yes. Is great God. And that they, they are filled not out of any, any, any good thing which the Lord has spoken. That all good thing that the Lord had spoken to them, they saw them. They, it was delivered to them. The Bible says, and all come to pass. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. All come to pass, or all came to pass. Amen? Amen. Amen. Now, this was all for the result of the fear of God. Hallelujah. Yes. Sometimes we look at people when people they have prospered and we admire them. Praise Jesus Moses. Amen. We look at them, people like Joseph, people like Abraham, people who have prospered, people like that nation of Israel, people who have fought battles. We look at them and we admire them. And we say, wow, what a good God they are serving. Praise Jesus. Amen. But we don't look. Those people, they are right how they were living. Praise Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 We don't look the life that they lived in. The life that they lived in. If it is Abraham, he had the fear of God. If it is Joseph, he had the fear of God. We admire all that God has come to lift Joseph beyond his, his enemies, beyond his family. We admire all Abraham. We admire all Jacob. We admire those people. But we don't look and see the life that they were living in. They lived in the fear of God. That was the secret. How they achieved it. How they prospered. How they were lifted up. Praise Jesus. Amen. And now, if we cannot understand this secret of the living of the fear of God, we cannot understand why and the reason why we may not have what we need. Hallelujah. Amen. The life that they lived was a life that they feared God. Hallelujah. Amen. They were walking in the ways of God. They were people who had an obedient heart. They were people who put God first in all that they did. Hallelujah. Amen. They were people who were ready to do, any, to do anything for them to obey the word of God. They were not ready to compromise. They were not ready to backslide. They were not ready to deny Christ. They were people who had counted the cost of following God. They were people who had denied themselves. They were people who have signed they had signed their death, if not to obey God, if not to walk with God, if not to worship God. People like uh, 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 these big men uh, who did not bow down to the idol, they had signed up that for, for whatever case, we will not bow down to the idol. Because those people, they had the fear of God in their heart. And for that reason, God promised and he gave them. Whatever that God has spoken, they receive them. Could it be that the promises of God are received by those that fear God? Yes. Could it be that the promises, the fulfillments of God are achieved by those that respect God, those that honor God, those that put God first? They receive them. Yes. Praise Jesus. Amen. That means that if you don't have the fear of God, you cannot receive them. You will see them, people receiving them. You will see the word of God fulfilling in other people, but in your world, it cannot be fulfilled. Because there is no fear of God. Hallelujah. Amen. And that's the secret. The secret. The secret of this life. The secret of walking with God. It is the fear of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The secret of receiving the abundance of God. The secret of our prayer being answered. It is the fear of God. The secret of walking with victory. God fighting our battle. God answering our, our prayers. God uh, walking before us. God providing. It is the fear of God of the Lord. Amen. The secret is the fear of the Lord. Amen. 
When we look at the church today, we see that there's something that is lacking, it is the fear of God. And that is the backbone of the church. If the church should stand, the backbone of the church, it is the fear of the Lord. If the church is standing, it is standing because of the fear of God. Like you, if I am standing, I am standing because of my backbone is good. Hallelujah. Amen. My backbone is good. My feta break is good. But if I am bending, the problem is my backbone. The feta break. Praise Jesus. Feta <laughs> break. Is it feta break? Yes. Hallelujah. What do we call this bone that comes from, uh, from here to here? Spinal cord. Good. We can speak like that. Spinal cord. But I'm ready to for fish. No. Even the fish, they have what I'm Even you, you have what I'm yes. <laughs> Spinal cord. Okay. We understand now. So, if, the, if, 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 if somebody is standing, he's standing because of the spinal cord or the backbone. So, the backbone, it is the fundamental of the church. If the church is not standing, if the man is not standing, it is because of that backbone. And that backbone is what we say, it is the fear of God. Amen. So, when the church do not have the fear of God, the church is, cannot stand. You cannot stand. You cannot walk. You cannot be straight. Praise Jesus. No matter how you are called, somebody can be called by a great name, by a great title. But if the butter bread, oh, if the backbone, if the spinal cord is wrong, is broken, you cannot stand. You will always bend. You will not be straight. And when we look at the church today, what I have what I have wrapped today, it is the fear of God. We can keep on saying. Oh, we are trying to look where the church has lost its value. We are trying to look where the church has lost the salt. We are trying to look where men and women became corrupted. The problem is the fear of God. Bible says that the fear of God is the beginning of knowledge, wisdom. And the fear of God is to depart from evil. So the fear of God and the fear of God is not in among us. We are not straight. We are not perfect. We are corrupt. We are corrupted. We became sinners because the fear of God is not in us. No matter our name like a Christian, no matter our name like a bishop, pastors, apostles, teachers, we have wonderful and good names. But if we do not have the fear of God, there is no godliness, there is no man, there is no people there. We become corrupted. We become good for nothing. Praise Jesus. Amen. The backbone for the church, the backbone for a Christian, it is the fear of God. Amen. If that bone is broken, you are good for nothing. Can be God a woman, but you are good for nothing. Can be God a man, but you are good for nothing. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, is the beginning of wisdom. The fear of God is to depart from evil. Praise Amen. Jesus. Amen. When you have the fear of God, you cannot do such things that people are doing. They will wonder why and what is happening in the church. You see, each and every day we have we have the news, news about the church, news about the church. That we are even kind of we are sick of hearing each and every about church, pastors, bishop, the church again, the church again, the worshippers again. The Christians again, because the, 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 the thing is that there is no fear of God. When we hear what is happening around the world, Christianity, the falling of the church, we see that the people there is no fear of God. May God help us. Amen. Let me achieve and bring back that fear of God that was with them. those people of the olden times. Praise Jesus. You see, right now, there is something that is going through. And there is an exposure, exposure of the church. They are being exposed. The church is being exposed. Christians are being exposed. Go to the website. 
Go to the YouTube and you will see that the top thing that right now is going on, it is the exposing of the church. Exposing their weakness. The bishop who was right now, who was uh, telling that he was uh, doing so and so, he, had, uh, he was doing filthy things. He had them that other, they were doing something that is so filthy. We see the church, how people they were doing. So the things that is, the problem is that there is no fear of God. Praise Jesus. Amen. The dressings in the church, the nakedness in the church, the immorality in the church, the adultery in the church, all those things, they are reflecting us and they are bringing, taking us back to one thing that is called no fear of God. Praise Jesus. Amen. Because when you have the fear of God, there are things that you cannot do. Hallelujah. Amen. When you are a bishop, if you have the fear of God, there are things that you cannot do. Yes. You don't fear men, you fear God. When you are praying uh, for people in your office, nobody can see you. You have the fear of God. You cannot do anything. Amen. But when they do not have the fear of God, they do anything. They become, they become animals. They become beasts and creatures. Praise right, Jesus. Amen. The thing is that the fear of God has been lost in the church. And if there is a calling that God is calling, He is calling back the fear of God in the church. The fear of God in women, the fear of God in men, the fear of God in the bishop, in the men of God, in the pastors, the fear of God everywhere. Because the church has lost the fear of God. The things that the people are doing, there is no fear of God. Look at their dressing. There are a lot of nakedness in the church and they don't fear. They can stand and worship, they can stand and minister and they don't fear. Others, they fornicate, they still stand in the church in the same altar and they do the preachings. Others, they do adultery. After sleeping with women, they come in the minute in the, in the church and they still continue to prophesy, to speak in tongues. Where is the fear of God? Where is the fear of God in the church? Where is the fear of God in God's altar? The people that were called the children of God, they are being treated like they are own. The sheep of God are being slaughtered, being deceived. There is the love of man in the church that they are fighting for the offering, they are fighting for the basket. What is lacking is the fear of God and that is the backbone that has been broken in this generation. The fear of God is the beginning of knowledge. When we have the fear of God, we will walk in the, in, in, in the full uh, truth of God Almighty. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. The fear of God in the nation, the fear of God in the hospital, the fear of God in the government, through the leaders, there is no fear of God. Corruption, killing, murder, and all sorts of evil they are doing in the name of money. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. God is saying that he do, not, he do not fulfill his promises. But because people they do not have the fear of God, they cannot, they cannot see those things. They only will be hearing that God answers. They only will be hearing that God fulfills. But for them, they will never see them. Because of lack of the fear of God. Praise Jesus. Amen. That is what is happening today in our society because the fear of God has been lost in people. Praise Jesus. Amen. Let me tell you, my dear brother and my sister, we would be better even uh, trust an animal. We would be better even trust an animal than somebody who does not have the fear of God. Because he is more than an animal. The things that we are hearing, even the animal cannot do them. They cannot do them. We have not had those things happen to the animal. Yes, that the dog has come and it has, a, it has, a, it has eaten its own uh, uh, a chow. We have not had certain things that is happening. That the sheep... Is, is coming against his own. No, but the things that the people are doing, it is madness. Yes. It is total madness. Total madness. We have not seen the hell 
two hen living together. It is two cock living together and they calling each other wife and husband. <laughs> we have not seen. They cannot live together. They cannot do the things the people are doing. But the two men are living in the same uh, home, same room, and they are calling each other that they, they have married and living together. Things that, that even the nature is against. Yes. Even animals and creatures cannot do, but people are doing. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. It is abomination and madness from higher class. That you better trust that animal than to trust somebody who do not have the fear of God. Because he can do anything to harm you, to destroy you. So we can, than creatures. So we can than those things. You know we are given power. We are given power over the animal. So we can control the animal. But man, who can control man? Who can control man? Man who do not have the fear of God. Can you control him? You cannot control him. We can control animals. For you are given the power. But men, you cannot. What we need is to return and to go back to the fear of God. If you have that fear of God in you, my dear brother and my sister, you will stand and you shall, stick, you shall start seeing the word of God being fulfilled over your life. Amen. Praise Jesus. Amen. Sometimes you find that people are walking with God and they keep on complaining, oh God, why this? Oh God, why this? Have you attained your part of the fear of God? Have you attained on your part of the fear of God? Do you fear the Lord, you yourself? When we are not together, do you fear the Lord? When you are alone, hiding, do you fear the Lord? When you have your own phone and you are on the website, do you fear the Lord? Where do you go? Do you fear the Lord? You are asked the history of website. Where could it take you? It doesn't show that you fear the Lord. Because some people that they are last website of the history, closer, you will find that they were in pornography. They were watching immorality. The things that they were searching, they were searching evil nudity. The term for the search is evil abomination. When we come to the church, when we come before God, we are worried, we are righteous, we are going to heaven. Which heaven? Let us have the fear of God. The fear of God is with you everywhere. We are here today. We are gathered today. But we will depart. You will be alone. But if you have the fear of God, it will be with you. And there are certain things that you cannot see. There are certain things that you will not watch. There are certain things that you will not listen. You will depart from evil. That is the fear of God. All people say, yes, we fear God, yes, we fear God. But the fear of God is to depart from evil. The fear of God is not just to fear God. It's not just to fear God. It is to fear sin and to depart from it. That's what we need to go back to the fear of God. When we go back to the fear of God, we will not be lacking in anything. All the promises... All the fulfillment, all the things that God said, He will give to you. Praise Jesus Christ. Amen. Let us have the fear of God, the church. Yes. Jesus Christ is coming for the bride who fear Him. Yes. Jesus Christ is coming for the people who fear good people, who fear God. Yes. People who do not have the fear of men rather than the fear of God. Yes. What is religion? Amen. Religious. To be religious is to, is it to, to, to serve God in the public. Because of people. It is to simply do things because of people. We are doing because of our church. Because we are doing because of the leader. That is religion. Praise Jesus Christ. Let us not uh, stop become religious people. But serve God in the fear of God. Not because of people. Not because we are here. Let us have the fear of God in us. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Because the fear of God will be with us everywhere we are. If we have the fear of God, that is the key to success over this life. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. What does the word of God say in the book of Proverbs 9.10? Proverbs 9.10? Proverbs 9.10. Yes. 
The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Is the beginning of wisdom. And the knowledge of the Holy is understanding. And the knowledge of the Holy is the understanding. Yes. Job 2, 28, 28. Job 28, 28. That the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. So when we fear the Lord, that is the beginning of having knowledge. Yes. And this knowledge is not just knowledge about one thing. It's knowledge of all things. Yes. Knowledge, when you go to the society, you have knowledge. You have common sense. When you go to the marriage, you have knowledge. When you go to the ministry, you have knowledge. You have common sense. Hallelujah. Amen. It is knowledge of all things that in every area that you go, you have knowledge. Yes. Because you have the fear of the Lord. The fear of the Lord it gives you knowledge. Yes. It gives you understanding. Amen. That when you are walking, you will be walking not as a fool, but you will be walking like a wise man. Yes. Because you have the fear of God in you. Yes. Job 28, 28. And as to man he said, mm. Behold, mm. the fear of the Lord that is wisdom. The fear of the Lord that is wisdom. The fear of the Lord that is wisdom. Uh -huh. And to depart from evil. 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 That is understanding. Amen. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. That to depart from evil. That is the understanding. So to fear the Lord is not just to say, Oh, do you fear the Lord? Yes, I fear the Lord. If it's that kind of fear, all people just fear. Yes. No, we are not speaking about that kind of fear, fear, fear. Mm. Fear factors. Mm. Because not only that, you may fear God, all people, if all people say they fear God, that's not the fear of God that we are speaking about. Yes. We are speaking the fear of God that means uh, to depart from evil. Because if it's about fear factor, yes, maybe you fear spider, you fear snake, you fear water. You, there's something that you always fear. And that's not what you are speaking about. Yes. The fear of the Lord is to depart from evil. Praise Jesus. Amen. Proverbs 8, 13. Proverbs 8, 13 says, The fear of the Lord is to hate evil. The, pro, uh, the, the, the fear of the Lord is to hate evil. Yes. Look at that. Not just to depart. Yes. Not just to depart. Mm -hmm. Depart means to live. Mm -hmm. Not just to live the evil, yes. but even to hate the evil. To hate the evil, the, the, the evil things that the people do. Praise Jesus. Amen. There was this man that in the Bible whose name was called David. He said that in his, in his proverb that I hate, I hate the, 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 the ways of the evil one. Yes. I hate those who mock God. Yes. I hate their wicked things. I cannot even join in their groups. I hate it because I hate what they do. Yes. Praise Jesus Christ. Amen. And that's what the Bible says. That the word of God says, you will see the book of Proverbs and of Psalms, that God is angry with the wicked each and every day, for he hates their evil deeds. Praise Jesus. Amen. If we depart from evil, let us hate that evil thing that people are doing. Yes. Praise Jesus. Amen. People will say that you are special, that you are proud, or you are pride, or you are separating yourself, or you are boasting, because of when you separate yourself from those things. But it's because you hate their evil things and deeds. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise Jesus Christ. Amen. You hate it and you cannot be inside it. If there are groups, you cannot be inside. You just quit those groups. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. How long shall you keep on repenting? That you understand into that group. And every time in that group, you become defiled. That when you go there, you become defiled. Or oh, tomorrow they send a naked picture. Or oh, tomorrow they send another thing. Or oh, somebody speaks, ah, uh -uh. How long will you keep on repenting, repenting, and going back to that picture, to that group? The Bible says that hate evil and depart. Yes. If you hate it, depart. Quit, bro. Yes. Yes, Jesus. Yeah. Yes, it is allowed. If somebody is an evil person, bro. Broken. Yes. If he keeps on bringing his wickedness and madness to you, broken. Yes. Broken them. Yes. Because you hate the, person, the wicked things. Don't give them room. Yes. Jesus Christ. Yes. You know, uh, Eve was deceived because of giving a room to the devil. Because he allowed the devil to keep on speaking. The devil loves speaking. Because she did not uh, cross the ear to the devil. So she, she kept on hearing what the devil was speaking. 
Praise Jesus Christ. Amen. And the devil was seducing Eve. It was seducing, sweet talking. You know, I hate it. You know, God has said that we should not eat. But the devil was still speaking, speaking. The way you women, and you, the way you are being uh, seduced. Yes, you know I am born again. You know the Bible says, but the man keeps on speaking to you. He keeps on sending you message. Oh, broke him. Amen. If you don't broke him, you will be defied. When you give the, the room for the devil, he will continue to speak to speak. At the moment, you will not realize yourself when you are foreign. Stop listening to the devil. Broke them. Don't give them time. When you give them time for the expression, they will speak and you will, will feel it. When they speak, they speak and you feel it. The Bible says that the devil, he sp when he speaks, he speaks in the native language. He is a professional in lying and in deceiving. Like how you hear those men that are in humanizer. They have the spirit of the devil. They are professional in lying. They deceive each and every woman. And if you can just give them five minutes, you will be deceived. People who do not fail, they do not fail. When they target, they target. The only thing that you can do is to depart and to flee. Yes. If you don't depart and flee, give them five minutes, you start feeling it. And they say they have won you. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. I tell you, there is no man, there is no woman that is so, so much a uh, half uh, uh, the, 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 the wisdom than that man. There is Jesus. Amen. And I tell you also, you men, there is no man who has the wisdom over that evil man, over that evil woman. Over Jezebel. Yes. Even she's there. Even Joseph. Joseph knew how to dream dreams. He had to go to a point of interpreting them. Yes. But when that woman came, she did not need to interpret. <laughs> she ran, he ran away. He ran away. He freed from that woman. Yes. There, there is no something that you say, oh, I am talented here. Yes. Here I have wisdom how to deal with such women. Free and free. Depart from evil. The Bible says, if you hate evil, depart. Yes. But because they will target you and they will come to you. Praise the name of God. Amen. You know why we have to depart? To depart is because we, we have the body. We have the body. You know, if we are just a spirit, we can deal with it. Yes. If we are just spirit, you can just live there yes. in that group and nothing will, will, will happen. Yes. Is that true? Yes. You live there in that group of those people that are sending those people, those pictures, and you don't feel it because you are spirit. But if you have the body in the flesh, leave. Leave. Because the body will be defined. Yes. That's why in rapture, we don't go through this flesh. We have to leave this flesh. We have to go through the spirit. Because those things cannot, cannot uh, go together. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. There is somewhere that the spirit cannot fight. So you will have to run. Yes. Oh. Praise Jesus Christ. Oh, I am very thin. I am anointed. I have the Spirit of God. Hey, I can deal with this kind of people. Run. The Bible says, run from immorality. Run from sexual sin. Free from immorality. Free from evil and filthiness and wickedness. Amen. Don't say I have the Spirit. Don't say I am anointed. Don't say I can know how to deal with this thing. You don't know. You are in the flesh. So, for you to do or to overcome, Separate yourself from that thing. Take your flesh out of that thing. Take your body out of that thing. Yes. And the battle is over. Yes. Praise Jesus. Yes. The battle is over. That's why we cannot deal with anything to do with them. Yes. For them to overcome, we say, just separate. Just separate from right. Just separate from adultery. Just separate from fornication. That is the medicine. There's, there's, there is no other special prayer that people need. That yes, I need deliverance. I need deliverance. Separate. In the Bible says separate. Go away. Free from fornication. Free from adultery. Free from that evil thing. Oh, praise Jesus. Amen. Yes, people are living in immorality, in adultery, living in a husband that do not belong to you, living in a, a wife that do not belong to you, and say, oh, pray for me. Pray for me. 
No, the Bible says there is no prayer, yes. no deliverance. Free, free, free from immorality. Depart from immorality. Free from adultery. Yes. There is nothing that you need to do deliverance there. This is for your own to depart. Yes. Bible says, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. And to fear the to fear uh, to fear uh, the, the fear of the Lord is, is to do what? To depart. To depart. The fear of the Lord is to depart from evil and to hate the evil. So we'll depart. Yes. Yes. Praise Jesus Christ. Amen. Yes. Let us also read this. In the uh, uh, so we can see uh, from tw Job 28, 28. From John 28, 28, that says, the fear of the Lord, the beginning of knowledge, and to fear and to depart from, from sin, that is the wisdom. Understand. That is? He said it again. And a man he said. Mm. Job 28, verse 28. And unto man he said. And unto man he said. Behold. Behold. The fear of the Lord that is wisdom. The fear of the Lord that is wisdom. And to depart from evil that is understanding. And to depart from evil. That is understanding. That is understanding. Amen. Now, this is very special key Amen. to see the kingdom of God. This is a very, uh, very special key to overcome this world. Yes. We are in the end times. And the end time is not joking with anybody. Amen. If you are joking with the end time, you will receive. Yes. Praise Jesus. Amen. The end time is not joking with anybody. And it is not even waiting anybody. If you are not serious, the end time is very serious. The clock is ticking. Everything is running, running very quickly. Praise Jesus. Amen. If it is a prophecy that God ever spoke, they have been fulfilled each and every day. Yes. In our own very eye, we can see them. Yes. Famine is there. Famine is there. Uh, violence is there, wickedness is there, and the end time of falling, apostles and false prophets, and all those things, signs, we can see them. See them. Here, right now, that the life has become so expensive. Life has, uh, has become so expensive that people are being paid. The Bible says in the scripture that there will become a time that you will be paid, you will be paid a wage which is, which is uh, good for you, a day a meal. It is in the Bible, in the book of Revelation. Do you understand? It is in the Bible, in the book of Revelation, that the time will come that you will be paid a wage or a salary which will be good for your daily meal. Yes, kibarua. Pesa ya kibarua yu taku nakura in Aisha. Yes, that the time will come that you are, you are salary, that you are given the daily labor, the daily pitch, uh, payment. We will only be, be good for buying a bread, buying the rice, and eating with his own daughter. Praise Jesus. Amen. Right now, go with the, with, 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 with the, with the 1,000, with the supermarket. What will you buy? Is it oil? Is it a fat or is it, is it what? Praise Jesus. Amen. Those people who do those work of labor, huh? you see, 300 shillings, what will you buy? It's only for food. That you eat today, tomorrow, I don't have anything to eat. Yes. You go back again. Yes. The prophecies are running each and every day. The time is being fulfilled. And the kingdom of God is here. So if you are joking with the prophecies, if you are joking with the time that we are, the time itself is not joking. Yes. Everything is coming to be completed. Mm -hmm. What was spoken is being fulfilled. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. But I want to speak about the fear of God. That those who will have the fear of God, even in this end time, they will not lack. Yes. God will provide them. I don't know how God will provide them, but God will provide them. Yes. I don't know how they will survive, but God will survive. Amen. They will survive in those days. Yes. And there will be difficulties. There will be difficulties. But God, who they have become faithful to Him, mm. is faithful to them. Amen. God that they had fear. That God will not embarrass them. Yes. Amen. That God will not ashamed them. Amen. They will surely see the goodness of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So if there is a key that we need to understand, it is the key of the fear of God. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. If there is a key that we need to understand, it is the fear of God. That key is what we need to catch and to, to start to do standing. Praise Jesus. See your Kajini. See
praise Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. So if we have to start to have this key, this is the fear of the, the fear of the Lord. Yes. That is what we need to hold. The fear of the Lord, you will, you will keep the fear of the Lord. Praise Jesus Christ. That I don't have anything, but what I have is the fear of the Lord. Oh God, I have come before you. I don't have anything in this entire. My back has nothing. I don't have where I am going, but what I have, I have the fear of the Lord. Amen. That fear of the Lord will lead you. Amen. The fear of the Lord is the, that is the, the secret. It gives wisdom. That is the key of everything. Amen. Just to fear the Lord. That is the thing. The Bible says that God will never allow those people that fear him to rack. He said the lion can get uh, uh, hungry. Hungry can even like they die because they are very hungry. Oh, but to, not to those that fear God. Not to those that fear God. Amen. God will provide them. Amen. God will give them. Amen. He will cater their need. Praise Jesus. Let us read in the book of Proverbs. Proverbs. So if we need to, to, to endure and to overcome in this end time, let us have the fear of God. If you need to walk with the Lord Jesus Christ, have the fear of the Lord. Let us stop walking with the crowd. You know some people are just walking with the crowd. Stop walking with the crowd. Stop walking with the saints. Stop walking with the church. Walk with the fear of God. Because when you walk with the crowd, when you leave the crowd, you will sin. When you leave the, the crowd, when you leave me, when you leave you, when you leave us, uh, the, the crowd of the gallery, you will go sin. But when you walk with the fear of God, you will walk with the Christ. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Amen. That's what we need in this end. Yes. yes, so that we may not become like others who are just saying yes. We love God, we fear God because they are into a certain group. They are a certain church. Praise Jesus. Amen. How should, how, if people could understand the meaning of the fear of God. Yeah. You know what to be born again is the fear of, of God. If you are born again and you don't have the fear of God, you are not born again. Is that true? Yeah. You are not born again. You are not born again. The example, I gave somebody a lift. And when I gave him, I knew that, I, that this man is not born again. And I gave him the lift. And when you are walking, uh, driving, he told me, yes. Yes, I am born again, and I go to the church, and I can feel, I can, I can smell drunkenness. I could smell drunkenness when he speak. I can feel the drunkenness all over the house, and the car. He's drunk, but you say I'm born again. Yes, I even go to the church, and I even tithe. Is that walking with God? That is walking with the church. That is walking in the in, in the tight of the church with the crowd, but he's not born again. And that's how many people are. Don't pray him. But the problem is that the people they have not had the, the, the fear of God in them. Yes, yes we really are born again. I go to church, I even do this. But the people they are not born again. They don't have the, they don't have the fear of God. Praise Jesus. But when you have the fear of God, you will not need to stand and tell people, oh, I'm born again. People can see that you are born again. Yes. When you have the fear of God, you not say, oh, you know, I am a preacher. People can see that you are a preacher. Yes. yes. They will spot that the fear of God is in you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible says that there will come a time. There will come a time that there will be a difference between those who worship God and those who do not worship God. There will be a different. The appearance will speak. Yes. Before even they speak, the fear of God will speak on their behalf. Yes. Praise Jesus. Amen. So for us to survive this world, we need the fear of God. How can we survive internet, brother? I have been internet. I have been technology. How can I survive this technology? This technology is so evil. We can uh, social media. How can I survive the fear of God? The fear of God. There's no special prayer we have to do for you. This is the fear of God. Pray for the fear of God. Ask the fear of God in you. That when you see that popping image, you know you are going to search for a job there. When you are searching for a job or you are doing some your analysis. Eh? Something comes to analyze you before you analyze. 
So when you have the fear of God, you grow. Yes. I not watch. Yes. So when we have the fear of God, if that is the key to overcome everything. See, this technology, the time to come, or the days that we have, only the fear of God will be made to overcome. Amen. Praise Jesus. Amen. And that fear of God is the key to the kingdom of God. Amen. Hallelujah. That is all about wisdom. That is all wisdom. And there is another scripture in the, in the lost book of Ecclesiasticus. Ecclesiastes is there. Not the one you know, another one. It was saying that uh, somebody can say that he fears the Lord, somebody can say that he has wisdom. And he can show that he has wisdom. But if that wisdom, there's no to depart evil, there's no uh, to, to, to holiness in that, in that wisdom, that is demonic one. Praise yes. Jesus. Amen. That somebody can say, have, have wisdom, I have wisdom to preach, I have wisdom to serve, I have wisdom to sing, I have wisdom, I have everything. But if you look that those people did not fear God, they are still sinning, that wisdom is questionable. Yes. Praise Jesus. Uh, we question that. You see, people they have been taking uh, those wisdom that they have. Yes, in the church today, people are following just wisdom, but they are not following the fear of God. Because uh, that person is a bishop, that person is a, an apostle, he has the wisdom, he has the gift, he has the anointing to heal the sick, but he is still brighter. He is still a humanizer. They don't see that. They see anointing. They don't see that. All they see, we see the signs and miracles. The Bible says, if you see those people, they are talented. They have gifts. They have wisdom. But that wisdom, there is no character. There is no holiness. There is no fear of God. They are still sinning free. Free from them. It is demonic. It is demonic. The, the wisdom and the fear of God and to depart, they must arrive. They must walk like this. Praise Jesus. If you know you are using a hard wisdom, yes, I am talented. Yes, I am walking in the spirit, in anointing. Yes, we want to see. Are you fearing God? Will you depart from sin? Yes, that is the problem to measure them. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes. And that is the hidden treasure that we need to know. Proverbs 22 4. Proverbs, Proverbs 22 4. That is the hidden treasure. He said. He said. Proverbs 22 4. Prophet, if you understand this, you will understand why. By, why? By humility. By humility. And the fear of the Lord. And the fear of the Lord. And riches. And riches. And honor. And honor. And life. And life. Yes. That is the treasure. That is the treasure, the key for the fear of the Lord. Yes. That is by by humility. By humility. And the fear of the Lord. And the fear of the Lord. Are riches. There is riches. There is riches. Riches. Uh -huh. And honor. And honor. Yes. And life. And life. Mm. Praise Jesus. Amen. Amen. So that means that whatever we needed is in the fear of the Lord. Yes. And in humility. Just humble yourself. Humility goes with the humbleness. The fear of the Lord goes with humbleness. That because of humility and the fear of the Lord, there is riches. There is honor. There is life. Praise Jesus. Right. And if you look to the things that people are looking for this life, they are looking for those very things. Yeah. When you go to, uh, to places where we have Sangoma in Africa, I don't know you people, you are in America, if there is Sangoma, if there is witches who post their, their poster, that uh, witchcraft, they say that the, 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 the cure, the cure of the cure of riches, the cure of manhood, man power, the cure of without jobless. Yes, on the post. They go posting everywhere. So those people there are three things that they are targeting. They say riches. They say honor. You will see say, say, they say if you want your your, your man. You are to obey you, to honor you. Yes. If you want to be honored in job, in the company, yes. honor. Yes. Who do not love to be honored? Yes. Another thing they say, life, life, is that you hear, are you sick? Are you sick? Because people are, are, are fearing to die. So they, they want to, 
to, to be given life. Praise Jesus. Amen. So they are tired in those three things. But the word of God says, through humility and the fear of God, it will give you honor, riches, and prolong your life. Amen. Praise Jesus Christ. Amen. So if you are looking for witchcraft, look for the fear of God. Amen. Look for humility. Yes. That one will give you uh, an ending riches. Yes. An ending uh, honor. An ending uh, uh, what we call life. Praise Jesus. Amen. Because that is the secret. That is the secret. So look at those people who fear the God. When they fear the God, they were honored. Yes. Is that true? Yes. Look at Joseph. Because Joseph feared God, he was honored. Yes. He became a king. Yes. Is that true? Yes. Because he feared God, he humbled himself. So we can see that if you want just to be honored, oh, humble yourself. Praise Jesus Christ. Amen. If you want to honor, if you want to be given honor, humble yourself. Praise Jesus Christ. Amen. If you want to be lifted, humble yourself. You cannot just go and expect people to honor you if you don't humble yourself. Can you? You cannot. But if you humble yourself, you will be honored. Is that, is that true? Yes. It's like the parable that Jesus Christ said that if you ever you are being invited somewhere, go sit backward. Don't go sit at uh, the front. Because when the owner comes, he will say there is a, somebody who has come. He will give the seat to the those that are at, at the front. And he will be told, go behind. And he will be ashamed. Is that true? Because of not humbling. That's the same thing. That when we humble, we become honor. When we walk in humility, we achieve the honor, the recognition, the respect that we need to be given. Also, if we want to be respected, let us humble ourselves. Okay. If we want to be honored, to be recognized, let us humble ourselves. Let us not consider ourselves as nothing. Let us consider ourselves as nothing, and we shall be considered as something. Amen. Praise Jesus Christ. Amen. If you consider us something, when you consider yourself like you are nothing, before people, don't see yourself. And, and God will make people to see yourself. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And that is the perfect honor, perfect uh, uh, honor that comes from God. He said that through the humility, there is honor. Through the fear of God, there is honor. And all people who walk with God, because of humbleness, they were honored by God. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Another thing, through it, there is riches. Riches. Riches means there is the riches of the kingdom of God and the riches of this world. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. They will be blessed. That is in the fear of God. Amen. Another thing is that your life will be prolonged. Amen? Amen. Uh, let us read also here. In the book of Psalms 128, 1. Psalms 128, 1. Me, I just, I just desire, I just desire that, that we, we be people who are walking in the fear of the Lord. Mm. If we have children, let us, let us uh, teach our children the fear of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Let us teach our children the fear of the Lord. That, like the Israelites, they were told by God that you, you must sit down with your children and insist them on the fear of the Lord. Because when you insist them, they will not lie you. Because they have the fear of the Lord. They will not go, when they depart from you, they cannot do those things. Because they have the fear of God in them. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. That's why we should insist on the fear of the Lord. Amen. I just miss that. That when I will be sitting with my children and I will be telling my children, fear the Lord. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. That those who fear God, they did this and this. I will be showing them that me, it is the fear of the Lord has kept me. Praise Jesus. Amen. That what we are eating and drinking, it, is, it comes from the fear of the Lord. Yes. It is, does not come from my labor. Yes. It does not come from my hard work. It comes from the fear of God. Yes. What do you see in yourself? How you are, how you are today? In the fear that God, yes. fear that God, walk with him, love him, obey him, walk in his way. Amen. Praise Jesus. Amen. And it shall be well with you. Amen. Somebody told me a story. And I wish I can say that story. He said to me that there were there, that there were three I don't know, there were three people, three young three children, and uh, 
He gave them three, each and every one, egg. Three eggs. And they were given each one, egg and egg and an egg. And they were told that go break that egg. Go that go break that egg and don't and where somebody will not see you. You see? Yes. When you go, go find somewhere where people cannot see you and break the egg. And the first one went and he, he saw where there's no people, he entered in a bush and he broke the egg. Another one, he went and he saw and he entered somewhere and in the toilet, he broke the, uh, the egg. The third one, he went wherever he went and he returned with the egg. And the father told him, why have you returned with, with the egg? And he told him, I did not see anywhere I could break the egg. Because everywhere that I was, the eyes of God were looking at me. Praise Jesus. Amen. That's the fear of God. When you have the fear of God, you cannot do it. Everywhere that you are, the eyes of God are watching you. But people who do not have the fear of God, yes, here, brother, someone is not here, I will break. Here, my mother is not here, I will break. Here, nobody is seeing me, I will do it. Here I am hiding in darkness. I am in the forest. I can do it. You see? Here I am hiding under my bracket. I can do it. You break. You break what? The commandment of God. Yes. But those who have the fear of God, whether they are under the bracket, where they in the forest, in the darkness, where they go, they see, ah, the fear of God. The eyes of God are still watching me. Yes. Those that have the fear of God, those are the true saints. Those are the true believers. Those are the true Christians. Those are the true people who are addicted with God. Those are the true bride of Jesus. The fear of God. When you have the fear of God, you will not break it. Because you realize that he's watching you. He's watching you. Your wife is not there. Your husband is not there. Your children is not there. Your family is not there. But the eyes of God are watching you. So you would, you would do it, you would say it. Hallelujah. May God give us the fear of God. In Jesus' name. Amen. Psalms 128. Blessed is everyone. Blessed is everyone. That feareth the Lord. That fears the Lord. That walketh in his ways. That walketh in his ways. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Blessed is the one. That feareth the Lord. That fear the Lord. Mm -hmm. So when you are fear the Lord, you are already blessed. 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 Amen. Praise Jesus Christ. Amen. If you fear the Lord, you are already blessed. Amen. It doesn't matter what people look when they say you are blessed. People might say, oh, yes, because you are driving, you are present. People might say, oh, because you are wearing nice, you are present. But those things are not actually real meaning of presence. Yes. Because even the wicked are still having those things. Yeah. And they do not have the presence of God. Yes. Hallelujah. Uh -huh. But those who fear the Lord, they are present. Amen. Uh -huh. And then, continue. That that walketh in his hand. <laughs> Blessed is everyone that feareth the Lord. Yes. That walketh in his ways. Yes. To say, for thou shalt eat the labor of your hand. And happy that happy shall thou be, it shall be where we be. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise Jesus. Amen. That blessed the one that fear the Lord, that for thou shalt eat the labor of your hand. Yes. That you shall eat the fruit of your hand. Mm. Praise Jesus. Thank you. Amen. If you fear the Lord. That's a good word, even for outside. Yes, that if you fear the Lord, you shall eat the labor of your hand. People want to want when we go outside, they want us to pray for their business. Yeah, man of God, pray for my business. But the word of God says, Blessed are they that fear the Lord, for thou shalt eat the labor of your hand. Happy shall be, and it shall be well with thee. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes, because their business are full of corruption. People are selling sugar. When they are measuring the sugar, they make sure that they have they have uh, uh, they have uh, uh, removed them or they have uh, uh, robbed like three spoons. And so when you go to buy, you buy, but there's no three spoons. Yes. That is, there is no fear of the Lord. Yes. So what God does, He casts the He casts the business. He don't press it. Yes. They are saying that they are still going to heaven. Praise Jesus. Amen. Yes, yeah, some, they are selling, and they are selling even that, some say it's my wiki. Yes. But when they are selling it, you will find that they have, a, they have a inserted the nini, breathe. Uh, inequality, you know. 
Yeah. Yes, they feel the air in the inside the quality. And you think you think that it is a uh, it is a skuma wiki. They are full of there. When you go to home, you just uh, uh, break, you piece the the, 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 the body in <laughs> something like this. You see? Yes. There is no fear of God in the in the job, in the business. People are stealing. People are stealing there. Some are, are, are doing uh, what we call robbery of the higher class. Yeah. When they are mixing the potato, they mix with the bad one. Mixing the potato, the tomatoes, they mix with the bad one. So when you buy, you, you look at the, at the top one. You see, they are very good. And they tell you, don't, don't, don't squeeze. Just take. When you take it, go, you find it's like only two were good. Roba, robbers, we don't see the kingdom of God. Liars, we don't see the kingdom of God. Yes, I, I also bought uh, mangoes. And I bought the mangoes. And I rejoiced because I bought them at the cheap price. But when I went and I started, oh, there was no, there was no even single mango that was good. They were all corrupted, corrupted, corrupted. But the skin in the outlet was good. And I said that this man, he did it intentionally. He knew this was not a mistake. You know if it was a mistake, you can have to store, or, or maybe two will be bad, or one will be bad. But now, how about all of them? You see, there is robbery. So the fear of the Lord, when you have the fear of the Lord, even in the business, you will not do certain things. Yes, yes you know, the customer is, you know, customer is not seeing me. Customer is not seeing me, so I do this. Some are, are employed somewhere, and they are, ah, you know, you know, you know, he's not seeing me, so let me sleep. Let me sleep. But when the manager comes and he starts uh, speculating, yes, you continue. Hey, hey, hey. The fear of the Lord. You do what you know is right. Yes. Yes. The fear of the Lord will become your manager. Will okay. become your supervisor. Yes. You don't need anybody to supervise you. Yes. That's the secret of the fear of the Lord. When you have the fear of the Lord, you behave like how you need to behave. Yes. When people are there, when God is there, when the, you are in the presence, behave it. Praise Jesus. Amen. So when we have that fear of the Lord, God said, For thou shalt eat the labor of your hand. Happy thou shall be, it shall be well with thee. You see? Yes. It shall be well with thee. It shall be well with you. Because you have the fear of the Lord. And he said, Your wife shall be as a fruitful wife. By, the, by your side of your house, your children like an olive branch around about the table. Yes. Behold, thus shall be the man be present them that fear the Lord. Um, yes, imagine that your 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 your, uh, your wife shall be fruitful by shall be fruitful by the side of your house. Your children like an olive uh, branch are all about their table. You see, and he said, "The Lord shall be the man that blessed by the Lord, the man that fear the Lord." Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The Lord shall bless thee out of the Zion, and shall see, and thou shalt see the good of the Jerusalem all the days of your life. Amen. Oh, praise Jesus. Amen. Amen. That is how it means to be present of the Lord. Amen? Amen. Those that fear them, the Lord. And that's what we need to pray for the fear of the Lord. Psalms 145. Psalms 145. Psalms 145. That is, is 18. 145, 18. 145, 18. We are reading. Uh -huh. Psalms 145, 18. The Lord is nigh unto all them that call upon him. Hear that. The Lord is near unto all them that call upon him. Uh -huh. To all that call upon him in truth. To all that call him in truth. Uh -huh. He will fulfill the desire of them that fear him. He will fulfill the desires of them that fear him. He, uh, he also will hear their cry. He also will hear their cry. And he will save them. And he will save them. Amen. Amen. Praise Amen. Jesus. Amen. Amen. You see? It, it, it takes us back to the book of Joshua 21 44, where we start by saying that God fulfilled all their promises. Not one of them failed. Not anything that they were promised they did not have. They all received what they were promised by God. And it is saying, He will fulfill the desires of them that fear Him. So why did He fulfill? Because they fear Him. He also will hear their cry and will save them. You see? Not only that. He will hear their cry and will save them. That is not to say 
that we will not cry. <laughs> Praise Jesus. Amen. And that one you must understand. Yeah. Yes. This is not to say that you don't cry. Yeah. He, will cry he will hear your cry. So you will cry. Yeah. Even if you fear the Lord, you will cry. Yes. We see people who fear God, they are like the most people who cry ever. Yes. Joseph cried until it was over. Yes. We see Abraham crying, Sarah crying. Those righteous people, they were crying, full of crying each and every day. Why? But the Bible says, and he also will hear their cry and will save them. Amen. The good part is that when we cry, he will save us. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The Lord preserve all them that love, that love him, but all the wicked will be destroyed. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Psalms, uh, Proverbs 19. Number one, Proverbs 19, as we are concluding. Proverbs 19. Proverbs 19, 23. The fear of the Lord tended to life. The fear of the Lord tended to life. The fear of the Lord tended to life. What is the meaning of tended? Lead it. Lead it to life. Lead to life. Mm -hmm. And he that hath it shall abide satisfied. Yes, he shall not be visited with evil. Hallelujah. That is powerful. Repeat again. The fear of the Lord tended to life. The fear of the Lord gives or leads to life. And he that hath it shall abide satisfied. He have that have it will abide satisfied. Will be abide will be satisfied. He shall not be visited with evil. He will not be visited with evil. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. That is powerful. That the fear of the Lord tends to rise, and he that has it shall abide satisfied. Satisfied. He shall not be visited with evil. Yes. That is powerful. May we seek for that fear of the Lord. Amen. May we pray for the fear of the Lord. Yes. That if there is something that we need to pray, let us pray for the fear of the Lord. Amen. You know when we pray for wisdom, we are connected to the fear of the Lord. Yes. When you are praying for wisdom, yes, I'm praying, oh God, give me wisdom. But He will connect you to, to the fear of the Lord. He will connect you to the fear of the Lord. So it is a cry. And it is a, a request that we need to walk in the fear of the Lord. And God will fulfill all our promises and all our desires. He said that he, he will fulfill them, even the desires of their heart. If you just fear the Lord, praise Jesus. Amen. That is the secret. How that all people would know that? People out there, they are walking in wickedness. Thinking that they will achieve honor, riches, and life. But they are dying. But all that is hidden in the fear of the Lord. That is where that we need to go. Yes. The fear of the Lord. Praise yes. Jesus. Amen. The fear of the Lord is not education. It's not education. Because sometimes we, uh, we, we lift up education as if it is life. Education, I don't say it is life. And education, I don't say it is the key of life. No. There are people who are uneducated and they don't have right. Yes. That right is wickedness. What we need to raise up, it is the education of the Lord, which is the fear of the Lord. Yes. Praise Jesus. Amen. Sometimes you see that parents, parents, they emphasize so much eh, on the children. Why, why were you wrong? Why did you not score this in the school? Yeah. Yeah? And they, it is good, it is good. But they don't emphasize what did you run on Sunday? You see? The fear of the Lord. Insist much on the fear of the Lord in your child. Amen? Right. Insist much. Let him know much about God. Not much of the world, but much of the word of God. Yes. Let him walk in the fear of the Lord. When you walk in the fear of the Lord, I tell you it shall be well with him. Praise Jesus Christ. Amen. Yes, when you have the fear, the fear of the Lord will give you everything that you need. Yes. So the fear of the Lord is everything. It is everything to us. Amen. Hallelujah. That the fear of the Lord will give you food. It will provide you. It will take you from here to here. That the fear of the Lord will make you to go sit with the people who are most honored. Yes. Kings of the world. Yes. People are feared because you fear the God. Yes. Praise Jesus. Amen. Let us just humble ourselves. And have that fear of the Lord in us. And we shall see his goodness in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes. Yes. Yes.
In the fear of the Lord is strong confidence. In the fear of the Lord is strong confidence. Strong confidence. And his children shall have a place of refuge. Look at that. And his children shall have a place of refuge. And his children shall have a place of refuge. Refuge. The fear of the Lord is a fountain of life. The fear of the Lord is a fountain of life. To depart from the snares of death. Yes. It, uh, to depart from the snares of death. That the fear of the Lord will help even to depart from the from the snares, from the trap of death. Yes. yes because out there there are many traps of death. But because you fear the Lord, that fear of the Lord will we will help you to depart yes. from those traps of the devil. Is that true? Yes. How many people who are born, they have even died? But not those who have the fear of the Lord. Yes. Because they did not have the fear of the Lord, they, they went to the snares, to the traps of the devil. Yes. The fear of the Lord is ours. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Praise Jesus. Mighty Father, Jehovah Jireh, the King of glory. We have come before you, Lord, Father, to repent our sins. Father, we have committed sins, sins of not having the fear of the Lord. We repent in the name of Jesus, forgive us. Where we were walking, Lord, hiding from people, oh God, and breaking your commandments, because nobody was seeing us, Lord. We repent in the mighty name of Jesus, mighty God. We might have even spoken. Father, we repent for speaking in the name of Jesus. We repent for seeing. We repent for watching. We repent for committing. Father, without the fear of the Lord. And we pray, Jehovah, that our request, O oh God, this day, that we impart the fear of the Lord in our heart in the name of Jesus. That in this very days that we are living, in the end of the days, we are the wickedness too much. We are people who do not fear you. We pray that we may fear you. We pray that you may impart the fear of God in us. That as we walk, we will walk in the fear of the Lord. That your fear shall guide us. We will not sin. Help us, Lord, that through the fear of the Lord, we will endure the salvation of this end time. We will endure the faith. We are walking with you. Anything that we might pass through, Jehovah, Father, shall we endure in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray, God, that, Father, your people who have walked with you by, faith, uh, by the fear of the Lord, as you have spoken through the word, you will fulfill their promises in the name of Jesus. You say that, Jehovah, when they call upon you, you hear. When they cry, you come to their rescue. And you say that you will also deliver them from the pit and the trap of death. Jehovah Redeemer, if there is any trap set against those who fear God, we that fear God, I pray those trap and snare be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Any weapon, any witchcraft, any divination, any power and sharp, Father, take against them. You are people that fear God, even their children. Father, may it be destroyed by fire in the name of Jesus. May it be destroyed by fire in the name of Jesus. Father, I want to declare through the word of God that you have spoken, you will you fulfill their promise, Jehovah. There are people who are waiting you, God. I pray they will see you, Father. There are people who are waiting your answers and your promises, Lord. May they be fulfilled upon them, Jehovah, in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray that you may quicken their promises, quicken their fulfillment of God for the good of them in the name of Jesus. Jehovah, King of God, if they might be the spirit of delay, our oh God will regain their, 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 their promises, Father. May you quicken according to your will in the name of Jesus Christ, O oh God. I pray, Jehovah Redeemer, we thank you, we call on for your name, and we honor you, Jesus. We pray, Father, that the same fear of God that war with your people, Jehovah, you are sheep, O oh God. Let them be upon us, Jehovah, upon the church, upon our children, upon these people, upon your servants, upon women, upon men and our children, upon youth. In the name of Jesus, help them to depart from evil, to depart from sin. In the name of Jesus, mighty God, we thank you, we glorify you. Continue to teach us 
Continue to give us wisdom and knowledge. Continue, Father. Oh God, to pour out your, your treasures of the kingdom in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Father, for because of our of knowledge, because of wisdom and understanding. We thank you, Emmanuel, for your name. It is the mighty name of Jesus we do pray with you. Amen. 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 Thank you, thank you, Jesus. Watch and listen to Apostle Simon Peter. The end time trumpet voice. The straight crying voice. That now in this generation, the church have turned away from the gospel of truth and they have come with another gospel. A gospel that is perverted, a gospel of the world, a gospel that is so it, 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 to supercoating, supercoating the word of God in order that they may gain from the word of God, supercoating the word of God so that they may eat and drink. Install the Apostle Simon Geshinga application on Play Store for the end time epistles. Writings of the last days with apostolic wisdom and revelation of the word of God that prepares the bride of Christ for the marriage feast of the Lamb of God. Beyond, the kingdom of God is near and Jesus Christ is coming soon. Install from Play Store and read the epistles. It's offline once you download. time messenger that invites you for the marriage fest of the Lamb of God in preparing the bride of Christ for Christ's second coming in holiness and complete righteousness. I is for see and the kingdom of God is near. Prepare your heart, prepare your mind, prepare your ways and make your ways straight. Our Lord Jesus is coming. The marriage feast of the Lamb of God is near. Be holy, be righteous, repent and prepare for the kingdom of God is near. Watch and follow the end time message on ETV online, a YouTube channel. As Watchman Peter, ETV official channel. Watch and follow the deep revelations of the last day's church and the wisdom teachings that prepare the bride of Christ for the marriage feast of the Lamb of God in complete holiness and righteousness. The end time trumpet voice preparing the church for the kingdom of God is near. Beyond, the Messiah is coming soon. Call us on mobile phone plus 254-7032-74922.